Tons of WWE news and updates, including Sasha Banks' lawyers reportedly working on her release, a new report indicating that WWE fears Randy Orton will have to undergo back surgery, and in wake of Vince McMahon allegations, WWE is expected to run business as usual, and Pat McAfee comments on the Vince McMahon news during his podcast. What's up, everyone? It is Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. It has been a very newsworthy last couple of days, and it continues. I'm kicking this off today with an update on Sasha Banks and what is known. Take a look. While a Wednesday news story that Sasha Banks received her WWE release has yet to be confirmed, there is a report that her lawyers are working on it. Wrestling Inc.'s Rajiri reported yesterday that he had heard Banks had got her release, which was unconfirmed by our own Dave Meltzer. After speaking directly with Jerry, Fightful noted, quote, The claim again unverified by us as of yet were that Banks' lawyers were involved and there had been eyes on a physical WWE release. During his Thursday Matt Men podcast, our own Andrew Zarian said, quote, I cannot confirm she's been released, but I did hear late last week that her attorneys were working on getting this done. WWE has yet to comment on any of this, which includes not issuing any denial. Banks and Naomi walked out just prior to the May 16th WWE Raw due to a creative dispute with Vince McMahon regarding booking leading into Hell in a Cell. On that Friday SmackDown, it was announced that the two were indefinitely suspended and stripped of the WWE women's tag team titles. Their merchandise was also removed from WWE shop and their contracts were put on hold. Neither woman has released any kind of statement publicly as of this video, and it was reported that Naomi was negotiating for a new contract at the time of the walkout, while Banks' deal reportedly had a lengthy amount of time remaining. And now an update regarding Vince McMahon. WWE is expected to run business as usual for Friday SmackDown tapings, in the wake of the allegations made against Vince McMahon. Dave Meltzer reported on Wrestling Observer Radio that both McMahon and John Laronitis are currently expected to be in Minneapolis for the show. Meltzer continued to say that there are those in WWE who believe Vince McMahon will remain as CEO of the company despite the allegations against him. During the podcast, Dave Meltzer also said, quote, major CEOs far more powerful than Vince McMahon have been brought down for less than this. I know people in the company who do believe Vince will survive this. Not so sure about John Laronitis, but do believe Vince will survive this with the idea that as long as there's no company funds, used to pay this off. Pat McAfee has also commented on the recent allegations against Vince McMahon. McAfee addressed the situation on Thursday during an episode of the Pat McAfee Show. He said, quote, I don't know. I know less than everybody else. He continued to say that he's not really in a position where he would have additional information. McAfee also said he doesn't know how the SmackDown tapings are going to go. Additionally, another top WWE star could be facing a significant amount of time out of action. Fightful reports that WWE fears Randy Orton will have to undergo surgery for the back injury that he's dealing with. WWE sources told Fightful that if Orton does need to undergo surgery, he'll likely be out of action for the remainder of 2022. Orton hasn't appeared on WWE television since the May 20th episode of SmackDown. Fightful notes that Orton had work done to improve his condition before the tag team title unification match, but the extent of the work he had done isn't known. The report also said, quote, We're told that things have gotten progressively worse. Orton's back issues have been worked into Riddle's on-screen rivalry with Reigns. Riddle said in a promo on the May 23rd episode of Raw that Orton could barely walk before the tag team title unification match. Well, there you have it. It's been a very newsworthy couple of days, and I'm sure it's going to keep coming. So make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to F4W Online to stay up to date with all of the current wrestling news. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone. Before you go, make sure to check out our previous news story regarding Vince McMahon.